Joseph Stubblefield with Firewire Underground Christian News. I told you folks last week that we'd have Pep Hutchinson. This is Pep. Hi, Pep. How you doing, Joseph? Great. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. Thank you for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. So I want to introduce Pep Hutchinson and, and for all those that are in Highlands County, He's running for uh, Hines County oh, uh, School Board. It's important. You, you need to have an open door and listen to what people have. And he, because if they come and say I've got an issue, it's an issue to them, no matter what it is, and you should be able to help them yeah. out. You Tell me, out. what is the seat that you're running for in Highlands County? I'm running for Andy Tuck's vacated seat, Highland uh, School Board District 5, mm -hmm. and um, the governor uh, appointed him to be on the state school board, so he could not hold two positions at one time. I'm ready for that vacant position. Okay, and what is, what does that position do? Exactly. Well, what school board members do really just two things. Right. They they do work the budget. They handle the money. Right. But the budget, but the budget process is just where the money's going to go. But they have hands on the first strings. Right. And they need to keep a real close eye on that. Number two, they set policy. Now they really can't go to schools and say do this and that, but they will set policy. So, so they tell me that you support Bibles in school. Absolutely. You do? Absolutely. So tell me why. This is the freest country in the world, and when you're in the freest country in the world, you should have the freedom to do what you want. But there's nothing wrong with having a Bible in school. All right. I mean, it's nothing offensive. About it. it just kids want a Bible, let them have it. Amen. Amen to that. So. What about prayer visuals in the school then? Prayer is fine. Let, let, let Student-led prayer is perfect. You can also give them places to do that. For example, let's say a place in the auditorium or a place in the lecture. <laughs> Common Core. Oh, that's Common Core. All right. There you go. Now, Pep, you were telling me that there was a way that the parents could right. assist the principals on which books they actually uh, right. used to uh, right. teach our students. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Okay, from the state level, every five years, there's there's books for every discipline and every grade are selected by the state every five years. The selection process is 18 people on a board. It's, let's just say it's science. There's six science teachers, six regular teachers, and then there are six parents that are on this board. The publishers come in and present their books. They're going to select five, and also they take testimony. So any parents can go there. So once they narrow it down, they narrow that's down. awesome. So yeah. the parents can go there and voice their opinions right. about the book right. during the committee meetings. Right, and they can voice their opinions when the books are being selected at, at, at the district level. Now it's narrowed down to five books then. Okay? Right. But there's generally, you know, there's a, there's some gaps, and you know, for, for that right. say a part of our buying pool. But that that's how we can work with it and, right. until we can overturn it. Now, right. now, Pep has told me that you're willing to work with any grass, grassroots foundation that mm -hmm. wants to overturn Common Core. Right. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how would they go about that if they were to do it? Okay. Well, uh, well, you first, you meet with the people about what they want to change. And uh, what day is the primary in Highlands County? It is Tuesday, August 26th. And uh, William, I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. Yes, sir. Uh, close, close us out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I praise you for allowing me to be with Joseph today. It's been a wonderful day. <laughs>